So, um, March 1st, Chicago, Illinois, I have my first MMA fight, um, my debut MMA fight crossing over from professional wrestling that I've been doing for nine years. And um, quite frankly, everyone around me is a lot more nervous than I am. Um, I really don't know why. Uh, I mean, I guess it's natural, but I mean, I'm not nervous. I am motivated to be prepared, obviously. Um, but uh, see, the thing is that it's it's something that's very simple. Um, it doesn't matter how much knowledge you have about something, how much technique and this and that. At the end of the day, if you're not a true fighter at heart, no matter what, in a fight, in life, in anything, if you're not a true fighter, then all of that means nothing when you get into that cage. And trust me, trust me when I tell you that I am a fighter. And I'm the kind of person that when that switch goes off, anything that's in front of me is knocked down. And I'm not, and you know, what I'm saying right now is not to like bark, you know, and I, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be real, you know? I'm gonna be real, I'm a confident person, and that doesn't mean I'm, I'm you know, cocky or I'm gonna, you know, I'm over my head or, or whatever. Um, but, but I know for a fact that, you know, I just, I know myself, I know myself. And, you know, I know I'm gonna win. I'm gonna do what I have to do to, to win, you know. And uh, I'm, I'm doing my best to be as prepared as possible um, for, for this fight. And like I said, Cicero Stadium, Chicago, Illinois, March 1st, Fight Card Entertainment. I don't know who the hell my opponent is yet, but like I said, it really doesn't matter because whoever, whoever steps into that cage on March 1st, trust me, it's, I know for a fact that it's gonna be like any other obstacle in my life that I have shot down against all odds, against all odds. And uh, especially too, because I know when that switch, that famous beast mode switch goes off, it, it's like a damn hurricane that takes everything in its path. And like I said, I'm not trying to bark. I'm just, I'm just saying, you know. And and I, I want to come into this uh, respectfully and humbly. Um, you know, crossing over to the MMA and everything. I respect, you know, everything related to MMA. Um, and uh, I hope that whoever my opponent will be on March 1st is um, respectful as well. Because if not, then we're going to have a problem. And I don't know, maybe that'll make for a better fight. Who knows? But that's not what I'm about. I, I really want to come into this and have it be a good a good fight, um, good clean fight, hopefully. Um, but if it's not, then I guess the game plan changes a little bit. And I mean, I'll easily fight fire with fire very fast. Um, and uh, I'm training here in Tampa right now. Um, I'm doing my best to train, like I said, and, and be as prepared as possible for March 1st. So um, I know I'll be counting on a lot of support from my fans and my family and friends, um, like whether whether they're there physically or not, um, and whether they order iPay-Per-View if, if they can or if it's possible or whatnot. I know I'll be counting with that support. and. That's always appreciated, always. Um, and uh, <laughs> can't wait, I can't wait to show people what it's like when that switch goes off, when that beast 
is provoked. I just can't wait. I'm actually, ex you know, I'm excited. I mean, I want to be focused and I want to be prepared, but I'm excited because I really want to show people. I really want to show people the beast. I want, I want, <laughs> I want to unleash the beast, and hopefully, hopefully that's what's gonna happen, March first. So that's all I have to say for now. But I'm sure I'll be saying some stuff again. So good night. <laughs>